Taurus. Okay, you're reading your your cards are coming out right now. Welcome to September. You have the Four of Wands. <clears throat> Um, the Four of Wands talks about foundations, building our foundations, solidifying our foundations with ourselves, um, our home, our internal home life, our foundation within our home. It can talk about family members, people that we love, trust, people that we hold close, gatherings, parties, functions, enjoying yourself, feeling good about yourself, feeling abundant within your home. Eight of Cups. Some of you may be leaving your home. Some of you may be leaving a situation with people that you once felt very comfortable with. Some of you may be moving out. <clears throat> Temperance. Balancing energies out between yourself, others, balancing your own situation. Um, sometimes this is um, communicating with people that we may have not been in communication with in a while. <clears throat> it's also Sagittarian energy. Let's get a little bit more out and then we can move on. Page of Cups. Ace of Cups. Am I still on? <clears throat> Five of Wands in reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So whomever this is, you may be dealing with a person where there has been a disconnection for a while. They may be coming to communicate their um, thoughts on the past situation with you. This may have been something of a situation where you let somebody into your home, you let somebody into your life, somebody that you felt very comfortable with, and they walked away from a situation. Um, their goal here, it seems, is to apologize, to communicate, to share their emotional feelings, what they're thinking about this situation now. I feel that there has been some hardship for them. They've been thinking about the past. They're looking very much down on it. <clears throat> How do they balance this out? How do they open up that connection? I'm hearing rivalry. So this person may be rivalry. So that's like they're concerned if there's rivalry. Um, you have the Ace of Cups here moving into the future with the Five of Wands in reverse. So this is essentially an energy where we are letting go of frustration, letting go of misconceptions, um, putting down our guard in regard to communication. It's somebody who's opening up their lines of emotion and communication so they can have a better outcome with somebody here. <clears throat> That's positive. It's positive. It's just the need to open up, the need to communicate, the need to address situations that have already happened. Why did we leave? Why did we step away from this connection, this foundation, this love? <clears throat> Hi, Marcel. So you have the hangman here. Could, could be dealing with Pisces energy. And the world is at the bottom of the deck. You have the two lovers in this embracing. It's a very interesting world here. Honey, why don't you come and sit with me if you're going to meow, meow, meow. Um, with the hangman, in regard to this situation, Taurus, it's almost as if we have somebody who is hesitant because they know the foundation here is either non-existent or has been pretty much um, disintegrated since they've gone. The world communicates endings. It communicates understanding through lessons, trials, um, changing perspectives. It's 
when one door closes, another door opens, you know, but sometimes we have to intentionally close things. It feels like somebody left but has intention here to come back. <clears throat> they see value in it. Show me the Eight of Cups. So for the Eight of Cups, you have the Four of Swords, the Hierophant, the Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands. This person is communicating, um, or they want to communicate here. Something is going on where they're feeling that they need to communicate with you. It's taken; They've taken enough time for themselves to heal. Um, some of them may have been dealing with family structures, religious structures. Some of them may have been dealing with certain restrictions in regard to how they experience life and love. <clears throat> They've spent a lot of time focusing on being shut out. They've spent a lot of time figuring out how they can bring themselves back. This may be somebody who's been influenced so much to the point where they had to let something go that they loved. They were maybe influenced by religion, by worrying about what other people think, by family members, by friends. <laughs> That's a difficult space to be in. It's even harder when you have to turn your back on love or connection. You have the three of pentacles on the ground. They're going to be put up, but the three of pentacles are a connection with people or a person where we are working on the same goal, where we're working on being together on the same um, desires we have the same desires the same goals i love you you love me let's do this together you know let's drop the plans let's work together on this you know <clears throat> i don't necessarily feel this is work related i feel that this person has given a fair amount of thought into why they left why they maybe put something out in the cold why they decided to turn away from something and it feels like they need to talk about that At the bottom of the deck for all of that, you have the Five of Cups. This is regret, remorse, upset, foundations rocked. I feel like this person has had to really... I feel like this person is somebody who has been influenced by out, outside influences and it has dictated their actions. Is that what's going on, Marcel? Yeah. <clears throat> it's dictated their actions in the past, and I think that that's something that's been very difficult for this person to deal with. And they have a lot of guilt about that. Show me the temperance card. Ace of Wands. They want to bring balance and new beginnings to this situation. They're in conflict about it, it feels, but they want to bring balance here. This is somebody that's thinking about this for a long time. This is somebody that's wanting to move forward now. Oh, at the bottom, at the bottom, underneath the table, you have the two of swords flying out <clears throat> in regard to this, um, in regard to this little sweet black tail, <laughs> in regard to the uh, page of cups. <clears throat> so again, page of cups, communication, an emotional offer, connection, somebody now opening up the lines of communication here. Um, it's, okay, what, rivalry again? I'm feeling again the word rivalry. This person needs to either get out of that or need to, okay, watch. Whatever they do, I just have to accept whatever they do. Okay, <clears throat> so they have come, I guess it's, it feels like they're coming to the understanding or decision that whatever is the outcome here with you or whomever they're trying to communicate with, whatever that outcome is, is what they'll have to accept and they're not going to push it. That's what it feels like because they have to value your response, your experience in this, in, experience in this. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, they're not going to push this. If you don't want this, they're not going to push this. They feel like they brought enough problems to this and they're not going to 
forcibly push this. They're just going to communicate. And it feels like they want to do that soon. Show me the Ace of Cups. So for the Ace of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands in reverse. It's a good placement for it. With judgment at the bottom of the deck, this person wants to communicate. Judgment, judgment, rec <laughs> judgment represents uh, reconciliation a lot of the time. So does the Temperance card. How we bring balance to situations. How we can ease the humors between people. Um, <clears throat> how we can move the fat ass. This is good. The Nine of Wands here in reverse with this Five of Wands in reverse. This is where you want these energies to be. This is somebody who's heartfelt. They're honest here, Taurus. They want to communicate their feelings here. And I think it's time for them. I think they realize the error of their ways. Again, I feel that this person has been very, been very put upon by social structure, by how things are supposed to be, how, how things are supposed to feel. And they want to change. They want to see if they can resurrect this. Show me the Five of Wands <clears throat> and the King of Swords. Libra, Aquarian, Gemini energy. This person and the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, this person here, <clears throat> They want to communicate with you openly, freely. They may have been um, shut off in the past. They may have been very, what is that word? Block, blockade, blockage. There's like a wall up, boundaries. Um, boundaries here with this person. And it really was very difficult to have them let their guard down or be able to communicate with them for some reason. But the King of Swords is, is about free-flowing honest <laughs> communication communication without that it's like that emotional entrenchment this like i said this person it's a, they don't want to push this they want to accept wherever you're at with this they want to extend but they're not going to harass you with this they're not going to push you with this they are going to accept what you choose to do and they will take that as the truth and let it be <clears throat> That's what I'm feeling here. And they mean what they say. This is now not budging on what they say. What they're giving is what they say. Show me the Knight of Pentacles here. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. So you have the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Page of Swords. <clears throat> With the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. If this person, this person may have been somebody that, you know, you may have been in a situation with them in the past where, again, I keep feeling this, like, you don't match up or something here didn't match up. Something wasn't, like, deemed respectable or right or the ideal relationship in, like, the public eye or, like, by their friends or whatever. Something here about this connection, this love, this foundation here <clears throat> was not right. They were paying too much attention to religion, people's um, thoughts, judgments. It wasn't healthy. That can. This doesn't just have to be a player. If they were a player, so be it. This can. The Knight of Wands in reverse can be somebody who gets involved in situations for their own benefit. You know, whether they be sexual or not, it's somebody that comes in and is out. <clears throat> it has a lot to do with sex. It has a lot to do with physicality and passion and lust. And if that was the connection with you in the past, that may have been it, you know. But the person is coming back. <clears throat> it feels like they have something very true to tell you. Um, true communication here, the Page of Swords. It's, it's information that's gathered, but I feel here more so that this... We have the Knight of Wands in the past and this moving towards the future with this falcon here, hawk, whatever this is, representing wisdom gained <clears throat> in regard to themselves. I feel that this person understands that this is where they were in the past. Um, it's, it's an immature energy, it feels. I feel that they feel remorseful in regard to how immature they may have been. But <clears throat> they need to communicate here. And they're looking in on the past. 
chariot being at the bottom of the deck talks about balancing situations out. We have the temperance here. Um, <clears throat> it's another card of balance. You know, we have the ace of cups, balance and healing the heart, healing the connections that you have with people and yourself. I think that this situation is basically called on this person to experience a, a fair amount of self-reflection and they've done that work. Um, sometimes that's not pretty. Sometimes that's very difficult to see and, you know, process for people because we don't like to see ourselves making mistakes. We don't like to see ourselves in, in a negative way. <clears throat> but when we can look at ourselves in those ways, it's something that's very healing. You know, it's something that where we can change the course of, of how we experience life from that point on and how we treat people, you know. <clears throat> Show me more for this reading. Yeah, you have the tower here. You have the tower here. Basically, this person is... Um, I feel going to communicate. I feel they're going to communicate and they're going to hope that everything goes well, but if it doesn't, so be it. And they understand that they've created that outcome or the potential for that outcome. And I think that this may be a bit of a shock to you. Hi, sweetheart. Show me more. Yep. This is them. <laughs> and this is you. <laughs> you have the... Um, you have the King of Wands here. The King of Wands is a, it's somebody who um, essentially <clears throat> steps into their own personal power. It's somebody who is no longer afraid to experience life on life's terms. They take acceptance, they, they accept whatever it is that they need to be accountable for. Um, and they move forward and do this so in a way where <laughs> they um, come out on top. It's, it's, a, it's a card of self-mastery. In a lot of ways and how you're coming up is the queen of queen of swords so this is somebody who is on their guard somebody who is somewhat defensive at times but they more so than anything want to hear the truth they want to listen to what it is that we have to say here they have to um, they want to open up themselves for utter honesty. And if that doesn't happen, they're absolutely willing to cut this away. And I think this person knows that. I think this person knows that. But what's funny here, because <clears throat> I mean, I think you're also weighing up your options in regard to what you can do or what you would like to do. And if this person fits into your situation at this time, you know, sometimes people come together just to apologize and say, hey, Thank you for caring and showing me and communicating with me what you were feeling. Thank you for bridging the gap. Thank you for creating closure. You know, sometimes that's the whole emphasis and point of the experience. And sometimes it's for more. But I do want to mention here. We have a couple. We have two people who are now communicating we have a, people, uh, a couple of people here now that are opening themselves up. <clears throat> they have good conversation. There's good mental acuity. It's, it's not having to piece through information that you don't know. It's having clear-cut communication, clarity in situations, and both of you speaking your mind. What is the future energy between the king and queen of swords? You have the eight of earth, eight of pentacles here between these two people. Um, I also want to mention here that <clears throat> The Eight of Pentacles in this deck is turmeric. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. Feels like the situation that's happened, that's occurred with this, this couple. There's a lot of inflammation here. There's a lot of heat. And I don't necessarily mean that just in the bedroom, but there's some heat, some frustration. It's left its stain on things. It's left its mark. Turmeric stains. It's indelible. 
but it's also very healing. And sometimes through those types of stains and wounds, we heal and we come together. The Eight of Pentacles talks about working together with one another, building things, fine-tuning things, healing things, cooling the pain. <clears throat> Show me more for Taurus. So you have asphodel and mushrooms. <clears throat> asphodel. Feeling stuck, unable to move on, regret. Kind of what the energy that we were talking about in the beginning of this reading. In the Greek underworld lies the fields of Asphodel. This is a realm where ordinary people who are not heroic enough for the Elysian fields nor wicked enough for the pits of Tartarus lie. In Victorian floriography, the flower means, my regrets follow you to the grave. Are you unable to move on from something? Is there anything, is there anyone you need to say I'm sorry to? <clears throat> Apologies coming out. Apologies, communication, heartfelt communication here with this Page of Cups and this Ace of Cups. Opening up the lines of communication, opening up the hearts. There's been a lot of stagnancy here. This person, however, is coming back with intention. Oh, that's, that's kind of funny. Asphodel and mushrooms, look. Mushrooms, Asphodel. <laughs> Very nice book. So, mushrooms, growth in dark times, longevity. Asian cultures associate mushrooms with longevity and strength. Certain edible mushrooms, such as shiitake, were used as herbal remedies for centuries. Mushrooms grow in the darkest, most unexpected places, in damp soil and rotting wood. Some species, such as morels, grow in place where there were previously fires. Even in difficult times, life finds a way. Absolutely. <laughs> Inflammation, heat, what happens when you're on fire, burning, uncomfortable? <laughs> Sorry, I'm making that word association. But um, here, things, things are growing from pain. Things are growing from darkness. Things are growing from the shift and change and understanding that we are experiencing here. This is a very positive reading, Taurus. I think it's important to... Um, hear this person out, feel them out, feel their heart, listen to where they're coming from, and and <clears throat> maybe also enjoy their growth, enjoy how they have grown here, and um, maybe that will help you grow too. <laughs> you have two people on the same level. It's not a page and a queen. It's not a king and a knight. You have two people of the same suit on the same level, being able to communicate freely and openly. Open your heart. Open up the lines of communication and express yourself. I hope this reading was helpful for you, Taurus. Um, if it was, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you choose to donate, there's a link in the description box below. And I wish you so much luck and love in your life and acceptance and just grace and beauty and experiences that are absolutely worth your while. So take care, Taurus. I love you guys. Have a good time and I will see you later. Bye.